Hey, this is Mike with First Updates Now. We're here in the pit of my alma mater, Team 340, Greater Rochester Robotics. Uh, we're here with David, Jeremiah, and Quartzy. Uh, this team was finalist at both the Finger Lakes Regional and the SBPLI number two regional. And we're going to kind of dive into the robot here. So, Quartzy, I'm going to pass it off to you, and you're going to tell us uh, about your intake. Yeah, so uh, one thing that we want to keep in mind when we were building, designing our intake this year is that we want to be able to intake from the ground uh, effectively, seeing as we saw the, um, the human load station, much like the human load station in 2017, it would just be quicker to intake from the ground. So we were actually, Jeremiah, you're enabled. So we actually have, uh, it's actuated by this cylinder right here that allows us to effectively intake from the ground and tip up when we look to score on the rocket. And the cool thing about this intake is, the tip down actually functions as a nice cargo scorer as well. So Dave, if you wanna just put the ball in. And it's all, it's all integrated with sensors and such to automatically tip it up. And uh, it works really well. Our cargo, if it, we barely ever drop balls in the cargo ship, or the rocket for that matter, but the, car, but the cargo ship more importantly. Uh, it's more like a slam dunk, it, it's really cool to see. Uh, also our hatch mech is on the top here. Um, it works really well. It's it's good for grabbing hatches when you're not really into the hat, uh, the human load station as much. So it's it's very good for you know um, making sure you have the hatch on. So great, thank you, and Jeremiah. I'm going to pass it over to you. I think you're going to talk about the climb on the spot. Uh, effectively, we bring down these two arms. They'll grab onto either level one, sorry, level two or level three. These wheels run with our our drive base. Then they'll roll us up onto the top. And that only pushes up the front. On the back, we've got big old piston. That pushes up the back. So we've got effectively a three-point climb right, right up. And we climb up in about four seconds. Thank you. All right, thanks, Jeremiah. And then uh, I'm going to put David on the spot here. He's going to talk about the elevator. Since last year, similar to our 2018 robot, um, we implemented the exact same elevator, except this year went for a little bit narrower, and we even went for a uh, Neo system instead of uh, Sims. So it's a lot faster, and we even geared it up too. So we still we fly off the mark. Awesome. And I see you got that disc brake on there as well. That's something that uh, when I was on the team as well as a student mentor, we, we utilize disc brake. Works very efficiently. So 340, thank you guys so much for your time. Good luck the rest of the way here at uh, Detroit. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.